information that's going to take place on tonight. My name is Twyla Portis, obviously executive ambassador right here out of Houston, Texas. And guys, I am not going to be your trainer on tonight. I can tell you you are in for a real treat. I want you to grab yourself a pen and notepad so that you can take some incredible, incredible notes. Uh, before I bring on our special, special guest on tonight, I want to just give you a few announcements, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we get started. Uh, we are obviously uh, at an incredible, incredible time right now in total life changes. So much is happening. You know, so many new pens are breaking. You know, definitely want to say congratulations uh, to all of the new pens that broke on this past week. Uh, directors and executive directors and, you know, regional directors, ladies and gentlemen, uh, national directors that obviously broke on this past week. And I know that so many of you, you know, so many of you are in the hunt right now. Uh, doing your tea parties. We are in the living rooms and dens. We are doing the wild parties and so much activity is taking place and, you know, everybody is in the hunt, you know, as we are approaching our deadline of November 30th to have all of the, the volume in, all of the new uh, rates uh, obviously will be displayed at that time and so many of you obviously are going to be walking across the stage in New Orleans, Louisiana, so simplified of about that and uh, definitely keep up the incredible work. Uh, we had some record breaking week, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, over this past week. And, you know, what's so profound is that usually, you know, obviously this is the time of year where, you know, people are out shopping. As a matter of fact, you know, I have been in the mall shopping all day today, getting prepared and ready for all of these events that are going to be taking place. But I can tell you that so many of us, you know, obviously, you know, out here working the business. You know, and, uh, and, you know, we've got our heads down to the grind and, and really out here, you know, sharing the, the plan and, and sharing the vision of Polo Life Changes. So definitely want to say, you know, congratulations to each and every one of you who are obviously in the hunt. Uh, we have a director's retreat that's going to be taking place right here in Houston, Texas. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, um, you asked for it, and obviously uh, you got it. You know, our director's retreat. Um, actually, our workshop and retreat will take place right here in Houston, Texas at the beautiful Hotel Derrick on December the 5th uh, at 10 o'clock a.m. Um, you can definitely go to www.directorsretreat.eventbrite.com and get the ticket information and all the details uh, on the director's retreat. Now, you will have to, you know, you will also have to be a director to attend uh, the retreat. So, you know, many of you are already directors. You've been re-qualifying for director. Many of you on this line, you're running for, you know, the level of director. And so definitely uh, go ahead and make that happen so that you can be in that room with the select few of individuals. Uh, we've got some surprise global and ambassadors uh, that will obviously uh, raise the stage there at the director's retreat. So that is December the 5th. Um, now, on November the 20, 20th and the 21st, kind of went a little backwards there, but November the 20th and the 21st, uh, Erwin and I will be out in London. Uh, we'll be in the, in the United Kingdom uh, on uh, the 20th of November and the 21st, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, uh, you can go to Total Life Changes London. Total Life Changes London dot eventbrite dot co co dot uk for the ticket detail uh, on that. So, you know, obviously so many leaders are traveling all around the country um, and, uh, you know, obviously doing Super Saturdays and, you know, Super Tuesdays and all of these events, you know, so that you guys can get your team and get your guests in. I definitely want you guys to tune in, you know, to the team Facebook page. We post all of the events there um, so that you obviously will uh, will be, you know, tuned in for what's going on. Uh, you can definitely follow me at Twilo Portis um, on Instagram for all of the details of all of the events obviously that's taking place as well. 
um, so that you will make sure that you are plugged into everything that we are doing. And so with that, guys, uh, we have our event, and, you know, I'm sure I'm really just going to talk about this, but before I bring her on, guys, I want to just talk about New Orleans, Louisiana. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be the event of all events. It will be the event of all events. I've got some background noise. I'm sure who's on the back line, but uh, it will be the event of all events, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that event is going to take place uh, January 29th and 30th. Right in the beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, and our host hotel, obviously, is the Hyatt Regency. We will be in the Pelican Stadium. Um, if you do not have your tickets yet, guys, I want to encourage you to do that now. You know, so many um, leaders have obviously provided, you know, uh, paid plan tickets for, for those that, you know, need that. Guys, we took all the excuses. We took every single excuse of why you cannot be at that event. So I, I'm going to tell you right now, history is going to be made. Uh, you want to make sure that you get your tickets. Uh, you not only do you get yourself there, but you get your team there. Um, and, you know, I definitely want to tell you, if you are totally plugged, if you're plugged in, Arlen and I, you definitely want to go out and uh, get your tickets. If you're plugged in to some of the other ambassadors and executive ambassadors, then, of course, you want to reach out to them uh, to get your tickets. But I'm going to tell you that you can definitely go to www. Let's see, www.tlc. NOLATickets.com TLC NOLATickets.com uh, to get your tickets for the New Orleans event if you do not have them yet. Again, that's T I'm sorry, that's TLC NOLA ticket with an S. TLC NOLA ticket with an S dot com to get your tickets for the event. So guys, that's enough for the announcement. Um I am going to step out of the way and bring on this dynamic, dynamic, dynamic uh, young lady. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I met her back in 2008. And I remember the very first time, before I had a chance to meet her, I saw her in one of our company's publications. So she was in that publication because of the success that she was, you know, the success that she was having. And I was thinking, wow, you know, what, a young, what an incredible young woman. You know, I was getting started in this business and, and just absolutely soaring right through all the ranks and soaring through the top. You know, and when I met her in Houston at our very first event, you know, I mean, she was just a fireball. You know, someone who was super fired up and excited. You know, and, you know, at that time she had, you know, created, you know, several other leaders that was, you know, a part of her entourage, if you will. And, uh, and you know, we didn't have an opportunity to really work well, work together during that time. But, you know, we went on... You know, to uh, you know, to be able to work together in the future. I think it was back in 2010, 2011. You know, and her and I had an opportunity to partner together. You know, and and do some incredible work. You know, we were able to you know change the lives of so many families. You know, um, this young lady, ladies and gentlemen, you know, was able you know to, to create millions of dollars in income for her and her family. But I can tell you what I get so excited about. What I, what excites me most is that not only does she create it for her family, but ladies and gentlemen, she has trained so many other individuals, you know, to be able to go out here and create the life of freedom for their families as well. That she was voted the number one female networker in the entire world. You know, what an accomplishment. You know, not only that, ladies and gentlemen, she got started here in Total Life Changes, and I tell you what, she did not waste any time climbing the chart. She's an ambassador um, right here in Total Life Changes. Guys, she is a million dollar ring earner, you know, and will be receiving, you know, a two million dollar ring, you know, coming up in the next two months. Guys, I don't know about you, but I can tell you that she is somebody that you definitely want to hear from. Um, she knows exactly what she's doing. And so I want you to grab your pen and grab your notepad and take copious notes, you know, as my friend, my business partner, you know, come to the line and share with each and every one of you tonight. I want to introduce to you none other than Ambassador, right here in Total Life Changes, 
Out of Miami, Florida, Miss Sonia Wellington. Miss Wellington, did you make it to the line tonight? Absolutely. I am here. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, ma'am. We got you loud and clear. Go ahead. Wow, well, well, first and foremost, uh, thank you so much for even inviting me to your very private team call. You know, I know that you definitely have to have a little trust uh, to be able to open up this platform, uh, not knowing what I am going to say tonight. So I just want to tell you, thank you for trusting in me. Thank you for believing in me. And thank you and your husband for both saying yes. I, I truly believe in the law of honor. I believe in the law of having gratitude because unless you show someone else honor and gratitude, they have definitely made a contribution to your life. You can never expect to be celebrated. So listen, if you did not say yes, you know, if you guys did not lock arms and decide to believe one more time, none of us would be here on this line. And for that, I'm forever grateful. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm definitely thankful to be able to talk to you tonight because you already you know, made the first step to your financial future. And, um, you know, I'm not going to get on this call tonight and, and go on to the logistics of how things get done because we all know that we have tons of resources. We have, you know, we have YouTube. We have, you know, calls like this. We have training, TLCWebs.com. We have Super Saturdays and all that stuff that we all have access to at our fingertips as a tool to help give us the logistics. So I'm not going to go into you know, all that stuff tonight. But I just want to have, if I can, you know, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you know, with each and every one of you on the line tonight because I, as I, I, I talk to you tonight, I'm coming to you live from my home that I own, from, from rentership to ownership, overlooking my pool that I own, overlooking the lake that I don't quite own, but I own the land before the lake. Just feeling very humble today. You know, just thinking back to... Uh, October of 2014 when I got that second phone call and just being thankful for, you know, second chances. You know, God, I wanted to share with you a couple of things because, you know, literally a large part of what we do and people fail to realize this is, is mental. You know, a large part of what we do, pretty much 90% of what it's going to take to take your business from point A all the way to B, all the way to Z, right, is it, really mental. And all I have to think about as I, I sit here on my back patio is nothing can stop the power of a made-up mind. Nothing can stop the power of a made-up mind. See, so many people, they make up their minds temporarily to do things, but don't understand that a successful person first becomes successful in their heart, guys first becomes successful in their mind, and then they make a conscious decision to do whatever it takes to get it done. And so we're going to talk about mental toughness tonight. We're going to talk about getting tired tonight. And we're going to talk 100%, ladies and gentlemen, about the power of a made-up mind. You know, back in that 2013, uh, right when I had my baby boy, I remember Kenny and Shantae Lloyd calling me so excited about this new company that they had found us. You know, how they believed, how they believed, how they believed that this company was going to restore all of us, right? But because they believed did not mean that Stormy Wellington believed. Guys, it didn't mean that I believed. See, what they didn't know was literally, guys, about maybe less than six months prior, you know, I had showed up at an event, an event for my prior company, prior to the company before that. Okay, I showed it to an event, and I never forget, guys. After earning millions of dollars, you know, being on billboards and, and buses, and you know, being that girl that couldn't even walk through an event because everybody wanted my quote-unquote autograph to, you know, buying Bentleys and, and, and Benzes and Range Rovers, and you know, living in houses with elevators, guys. I remember going broke, all the way broke. And I'm not talking about a little bit of broke. You know, how sometimes you broke, but you still got a couple of thousands of dollars tucked away here and there. And, you know, guys, I remember going broke, and I remember being at an event after going broke, after believing that I was never going to be broke another day in my life and all that stuff. I remember going to an event, and it was at that event, after the passing of my mother, after just the things I was dealing with, it was at an event that I began to recognize that my life was taking a downward spiral. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm starting off talking about just the mentality because I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. You know, God has blessed me with an incredible income. And I'm going to talk tonight about my story. Because you also need to dig deep 
and make a conscious decision. Get tired, all right? Have that mental toughness. Be ready. Have some belief. Understand it's all mental. But you also have to get to a place where you know it's about your story, too. And so, anyway, going back to, to being at this event, I remember being at this event. And, guys, I'm at this event, and I'm sitting there after making all this money, going broke, starting all over. You know, not being 100% coachable. That's another thing. You know, I was talking to about a good friend. I was a good friend of mine today. How so many people think they're coachable. They get into a business thinking they know everything, and they leave their upline out. But anyhow, I'm at this event. And I remember sitting at this event, and I remember everybody around me, you know, uh, some people was excited about their success, and some people were experiencing some of the same things, so we kind of had, you know, a big name and a little check, or we kind of had what you call public success and private state, because people didn't know how we really were at home, and I remember I was at this event, I was at this event, and I, this was when I was addicted to my iPad, and I'm typing on my iPad, guys, it was back in November, I'm just doodling in my iPad, I don't even know what I'm typing. And I remember typing in my iPad, I forgot who I was. I remember sitting at this desk. It wasn't even a desk, I'm sorry, it was a table, it was the, the, the top producer's table. Remember, I'm broke at the top producer, you didn't know it. And I remember typing in my iPad, I forgot who I was. Now, some of you guys may not understand what I'm saying, but let me just make it very clear for you. It's not who I was. Yeah, it, it, it's who I am. You know, guys, when I look at TLC and I think about that very first phone call that was made to me back, you know, in 2013 when I wasn't ready, I wasn't, you know, there, my belief wasn't there, I, I wasn't tired enough, and I said no to this opportunity, I passed it by. I mean, I'm so thankful that, you know, Kenny and Shantae Lloyd kept going, you know, in spite of what I thought. I'm so grateful and even though I got that first phone call and I said no, that, you know, Earl and Twala said yes, and they kept going, even though I'm a person that remember calling Twala and laughing about that tea company. I'm happy and thankful and grateful that Malika and Greg Scott believed one more time, and they said yes. Because, guys, as I think about, because I wasn't in the place, you know, that when I got that phone call, what if they were in that same place and they wouldn't have said yes and we wouldn't have been here today? But, guys, I want you to know when I think about where we are right now as a company, where we are right now with these incredible products we have. Right now, I, I, I've been talking to my team, and, and a lot of what we're doing is, is taking full responsibility. You know, guys, when you talk about mental toughness, so many of us, we don't take responsibility for where we are. You know, we always want to blame somebody else. Nobody ever wants to really sit back and say, I am where I am because I intended to be here. Whether it was because you forgot who you were or who you are, you know, whether it's because you failed and, and you just don't know if you could even do it again, rather it's because you're so concerned about what people may think. I am so excited right now, guys, because all I can think about is closing out 2015 strong. But let me tell you something. <laughs> my chant that I speak my affirmation that I speak now as I walk around my house, as I'm in my quiet place and I'm doing what I do is six figures a week plus. Six weeks of six figures a week plus by February 1st of 2016. Six figures per week plus. Why am I saying that? Guys, when you get to a place that you shift your thinking, when you get to a place that you recognize we are in the greatest, y'all, we are in the greatest direct sale slash network marketing company there is right now. And if I wouldn't have went to that event when I had that conscious interruption, that mental shift as I sat back and listened to every story at those at that event. And all I could think about was, wait a minute, if he could do it, I could do it. Wait a minute. If she could do it, I could do it. Wait a minute. She ain't better than me. Wait a minute. He ain't better than me. Wait a minute. What am I doing, bro? Wait a minute. I there's, there's people winning. Listen, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Come January, why am I so at peace? Why am I so confident? Because the mere fact that all I can think about, these thoughts become things. I know today I got a sidebar. Let me give y'all a sidebar. Look, look, it's kind of funny to wake up a wind caller. This is a person I've been thinking about a lot lately. This person lives, I'm talking about maybe an hour south of where I was today. How ironic is it? And I've been thinking about this particular person an hour south of where I was, and I bumped into this person. 
Y'all, when we get that mind right, when we make up our mind that we're going to do something, when we get to the point where we get sick and tired and sick, I just heard Ms. Porter say, oh, we broke so many directors, I can't even name them. Oh, we broke so many executives, I can't even name it. Oh, we got regionals, and oh, we, oh, we got a new national. Listen, y'all, tonight on this call, I hope that I say something, something that gets you to the place that you believe that you deserve better. We already here. We already in TLC. Listen, y'all, I made a decision like maybe about a good month now, a little over a month. And I got money, right? I'm not bragging, just being honest. I have money. Money is, money is not something I worry about no more. I'm good. Thank you, God. All right. I, I, I got some good people around me. Okay. I'm, I'm good with that relationship. Well, I could be better, but I'm, I'm thankful and content for what I have. I got, I got a great support system. Okay. I'm, I'm very thankful and grateful for the relationship that I have with, you know, Twyla and, and, and Erwin and Kenny and, and, and Greg, Lanika and Jack Fallon and, and, and my team. I got from Shanita and Pam and Candace and Drake and, and I got, I got a nice, nice team. I'm thankful for what I have in my team. But you know, I said, story, a part of your purpose and your responsibility is to inspire with results. You say your company sells results. So where they at? Let me see you. Since I made a decision a month ago, I'm already in 2016. I'm, I'm, I'm on my product. I, I, I take Nutribirth. I put Nutribirth in my purse. Literally the big, I ain't got time for that little sample bottle. I've been to chug that down in a day. Guys, I take my big bottle of Nutribirth with me everywhere I go. I take three, four, five shots a day. I feel so good. I feel so energized. I wake up in the morning. First thing I do is brush my teeth. Of course, thank God. I, I take my Tachui too over my meal replacement, guys, because if you're looking to lose weight, guess what? Did you know that Tachui is a superfood? It's a protein that feeds your muscles, but it also operates like superfood and food in your stomach. Do you know that if you eat something within 30 minutes of waking up, it helps to speed up your metabolism? So I may not eat. I may not chew. Oh, but I take my teeth to chew right in my bathroom, right when I brush my teeth. Guys, my immune oil, okay? My immune oil right in my bathroom, right when I wash my face. Guys, my chaga right in my bathroom, right when I wash my face. But, of course, I go downstairs for my neutral birth. Guys, go to the gym. I'm transforming my body. All, is it, all in my mind right now is close, strong, stormy, start big, stormy. Close, strong, stormy, start big, stormy. Close this year out strong. You already be ahead of the masses, Stormy, in 2016. While everybody trying to go to the gym come January, you already ripped up. You just keeping it tight. That's all you're doing. Then Mr. Stalin comes out with this new product, Slim R. I'm using this product, y'all. I'm blown away. And I, God, please understand, I don't have to lie, right? This is a team on the call, so I can keep it, you know, 100% with you tonight. God, that Slim R. I text Jack like, dude, what is in this stuff? I, I don't get it. It's, I've, I've never seen nothing that's breaking down my fat pockets the way they are. I watched Candace Bird Davis, a national top honor in my organization, was scheduled to have a tummy tuck. That's lost, I think, over 170 pounds. I'm telling you, she was scheduled to have a tuck. Then rubbing her, she rubbed it. And here's the funny part. This is why you know it's so real. The day she started, because we have a leadership chat that we just, we, we a family in this chat, y'all. We, we, we just talk about anything. We pray together. We cry together. We laugh together. So she takes this picture and says, hey, guys, don't judge me, but here I go. Hey, let's, let me try to slim all this. See if it works. Y'all, I promise you, seven days later, her skin was hanging and went tight. You can barely see the stretch marks. You can see her, the curves and her waist and everything. So she started something. So we wrapping legs and thighs and everything with the slim all. Why? We sell results. We sell results, and I, in, in my mind, I understand that if I look good, if you see a transformation in Stormy, guess what? I don't have to sell you on my opportunity. I don't have to sell you on my products because I already know that right now, everybody's going to want to do what? Lose weight, make money, and get closer to God. And so in my mind, if I want to go from where I am right now to six figures a week, let me start off with me first. If I'm telling my team, and I'm talking about the mentality right now, guys, I hope that somebody's receiving this, because I'm a little different. Okay, I'm not going to give you the wild, wild. And I ain't going to do that. I'm going to tell you how I think. I'm going to tell you how to transform your thinking, how not to conform to the world of where it is right now, but to change the way you think of someone who was broke a year ago. Broke 
from you because you guys, I wish I could tell you my weekly checks. Every time I get them, I'm like, God, you, you're amazing. This is amazing. It's unbelievable, but it's the, God, it's the mindset. God, you to shift the way you think. Everything we have right now is, is, is in a place where we could just go and take over the world. Take over the world. And so back to the event. So I'm at this event and the situation happened and I had my release, my moment, because see, here's the thing, guys, until you know where you are, you can't expect to go anywhere further because you don't even know where you are. You know, you ever, you ever uh, uh, been in church and the pastor says, why would you argue with the monkey? The Bible says a, a, a fool listens to himself and thinks he's right, but a wise man speaks. Council. So when I think about just the way that we're supposed to think, and when I think about how I'm helping you renew your mind tonight, I'm helping you to get to the place where some of you are on the phone tonight trying to figure out how come I can't go director? It's because you haven't made up your mind to go director. How come I, it, it, how, how come Stormy been, in, you know, after me? I joined two years ago, and I can't even get a check with a comma in it. Your thinking has to change. Now let me tell y'all something. You gotta start doing income producing activities. You gotta start shifting your mind. You gotta take personal responsibility. Let me give y'all a little trick. Let me tell you how, how to help to increase your revenue real quick without even having to recruit a soul right now. It's real simple. I'm getting one little, one little logistical strategy, which is not my goal, but I gotta get these. Tonight, here's your homework assignment. Write down your monthly bill. And this is painful sometimes because no one, none of us really, when we don't have the money, we don't want to face reality and we don't want to even write it out. So it's going to be a little painful for some of us. Right? Light bill, water bill, phone bill, grocery bill, nails, hair, gas, aftercare, car insurance, car note. Bam, write it out. Let's just say it's $3,000 a month. That means right now, just to be at peace, because see, remember, remember, the shift in the success and the way we have to think starts in the mind. So if you can't even have peace in your mind, how do you expect to have peace to go build a business? So watch this. You write these bills out. they $3,000 a month. You say to yourself, wait a minute. If I'm in a company that has 50% retail, plus the products really do work, I'm watching Stormy transform before my very eyes. I'm watching that. I'm in Shannon and I can go on and on and on and on and on. I'm even watching this portal transform, right? She don't need to transform, but okay. We know the products work. We know that when we take the NRG, listen, if y'all not on the NRG, you are really doing yourself a disservice. I love it. It's not even just the energy no more that I love the NRG for. I love the way it makes me feel. I like how it's that instant burst of happiness just for me. And, and, and that's what I hear. That's the overall consensus. Oh, the happy pill? That's, and that's the happy pill. The Nutriburst? Y'all, listen, no, no joke. Sunday, I open my fridge. I'm, I'm looking where, where the Nutriburst usually is. No Nutriburst. Now, I'm a sweet lady sometimes. I got mad. I th- if y'all listen to me, I'm always going to wake call off and say, God, I ain't finished with it yet, right? I'm, listen, I'm moving out milk, orange juice, eggs, strawberries. I'm like, where is my Nutriburst? Why did y'all move it? Listen, y'all, I had everything on my island. I instantly got mad. So y'all going to drink the last little bit of Nutriburst? Did y'all, are any of y'all in here on auto ship? Are any of y'all in here buying Mr. Burke every, every month? Y'all all got your own money. Why would you drink my last drop of Mr. Burke? Y'all, I was livid. I was so angry. Watch this. Today, Mr. Burke's come. I finally got me some Mr. Burke today. I'm excited. I'm calling Pam. I'm calling every leader. Please, I, I need my Mr. Burke. I need my Mr. Burke. Watch this, though. So today, my Mr. Burke comes, and, and, and like, we drink Mr. Burke so much at my house. That it's like one bottle probably last three days, just being honest. So I made my Nutriburst, put it on my counter, and it vanished. I'm around my house. I'm upset because I know I did not touch my, I did not drink it. I didn't throw it out. Who took my Nutriburst? My nephew took my Nutriburst. Y'all drank my Nutriburst. Like, literally, we don't have a lot left. And you know, I told you, I sip a Nutriburst four or five times a day. Why am I going there? Guys, we got products that people can feel. We got products that there's an emotional attachment for real. I told somebody today, a leader who's coming on board. I said, I'm not trying to stay here for venture. I'm being very honest. I'm being very honest. The way these products make me feel, the way, I, I, listen, if, if the company start paying the day tomorrow, I'm not getting off these products. And when you got good products, you got your mind right. We got that clue. You got your mind right. You made up your mind. You got good products. And you got a good confidence, good timing, good leadership. We still like the best kept secret. Listen, y'all, we 
have what is necessary to win. Here's another good thing I'm going to tell y'all. So you got your bills written out, wrote, wrote out, right, written out, sorry. You got your bills written out. You know what you want to make. I mean, you have your bills written out. You know that you need peace in your mind because in order to go out there and do what's necessary to have a six-figure ring and just to be at the convention coming up and walk across the stage. And, and you, you, you made it be your mind, I'm not going to another convention without being acknowledged guys. my sis. You got your bills written out, $3,000 a month. Guys, you know what that means? That means all you got to do is make $100 a day. You know what that means? That means, guys, today I got almost $6,000 with the inventory showed up. When I say I was so happy, I, when I say I was so happy, because I add, I hope I'm going to trouble for this, I add a $10 convenience fee to my product. If I'm going to sell you a bottle of Slim R, you're going to pay me an extra $10. If I'm going to sell you a bottle of NRG Nutribirds, you're going to pay me an extra $10. Why? Because I conveniently got it for you and I'm delivering it to you. So I get my extra $10 on top of my points that's going in my binary, right? Uh, uh, look, uh, uh, on top of I help you get access to our product without you having to be stressed out. Guys, listen, $100 a day is easy. The only product I sell for 20 bucks is, is, is the tea. But I still made an $8 profit. Guys, 10 packs of tea in a day, you've made $80. When it clicks mentally, get excited, y'all. You got to get it. Listen, I am in love with our products. I'm talking about in love with our products. This is a mental shift. This is a click that has to happen. You got to have an emotional attachment to our products. You got to fall in love with our products. You have to be the walking, talking billboard. You got to let your family your spouse, your friends, your co-workers see a difference in you. Guys, listen, some of y'all need to just lose some weight, too. That's another one. You, you the same 200 pounds you was 30 days ago. You the same 200 pounds that you were 60 days No, guys, what are your products tonight? You decide, I'm going to be the first one. I'm going to be the example. I'm going to be the shift first. Because I want to make sure that 2016 is going to be the best year ever. Let me tell you something. That event... Coming up, January 29th to 30th in New Orleans. Do y'all know, do y'all know we have a leadership call every Wednesday? No, not every Wednesday, every Tuesday to discuss ticket sales. These tickets are going fast. And the first one to go, obviously, everybody want to be a VIP, is VIP. Then we're on this conference call, and I, I'm just being honest. I don't get in trouble for this, okay? I've never been with a company that, that set up a payment arrangement. I don't even like saying payment plan, because I don't like talking to them. I did say, Paul, that lets you set up a payment plan to pay for tickets because our motto is no and left behind. We could do payment arrangements on tickets. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a site, a team site that you could go to to buy your tickets, PLC NOLA uh, tickets.com. PLC NOLA tickets.com, and you can get your ticket. Let me tell you another reason why it's important to attend events. I remember my mama telling me before she passed away, she could always say this, always say this. And I, I hear a lot of older people say this, that the best things in life, they're not seen nor heard, but they're felt. They're felt. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm looking more forward, not to seeing some of y'all dressed up in y'all cute clothes. I'm looking forward to sitting in the audience. And hearing that brand new story of someone that talked about, you know, how they caught the bus, you know, to a super Saturday and, and they heard a nugget that made them realize that they can do it. And, and now here they are and they got their husband and their wife and they were able to, you know, pay for their, their children's plane ticket to come to this kids' convention because of their sacrifice. And now they're a top earner in a company or now they're making a thousand dollars a week. I'm looking forward to that story of a person that, that talks about how people laughed at them and the stories, y'all, that are told at, this, at these events, you know what happens? You begin to identify with someone that you can relate to. Here's the thing. Sometimes you relate to them and say, man, I wish I was her. Man, I wish I was fly like her. Man, I wish I could just talk like her. Man, I, man, I, man. And you may look at a gentleman, a, a guy, you may see Greg or Kenny Lloyd, or I mean, you may see one of these top producers, Martin on the stage, and, and you may say, man, he's sharp. Man, you may admire that person. But you know what I think is more important? When you look at that person, this is not a disrespectful comment. This is just when you are in a place where you recognize, when you're in a place that you recognize, when you sit back and say, wait a minute, I know who I am. Wait a minute. I'm tired of 
being in the back and, and watching everybody else win. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued by his story, but I'm tired of listening to these stories every event and not making a conscious effort, not even decision, because we decide sometimes, but we, we forget to put the effort after the decide, and we forget that the side line from homicide, which means something got to die in order for you to get to the next level. And so you have to be saying, I can do that. Wait a minute, story. She ain't really all that. She she really has a little ghetto twang to her. She really is not that funny. Wait a minute, her story ain't as ain't, ain't, ain't as bad as mine. My story worse than that. I've been a hustler. I, I I done lost twenty pounds already. Wait a minute, I could do that, and I think I could do it better than Stormy. Listen, y'all, that's the moment right there. Man, that's the moment. You at this event and you sit back and you watch someone honestly, no disrespect, like Andrea Blackley, and you say, She ain't no better than me. She not no different than me. Why why she keep winning? She was working at um true religion and now she making how much? She what what kind of car? She got a house? She ain't proud of me, she ain't sharper than me, no. Listen, y'all, let me tell y'all something. I can't wait to get to the event. No disrespect, Miss Borders. No disrespect, Miss Miss Scott, and no disrespect, Shante. You know what I'm looking forward to that clip? My clip is sitting back looking at y'all saying, nah, a hundred thousand dollars a week. They just got a little bit more months on me. I could read too. I could dress too. Why are they making more money than me? Oh, I'm not gonna use this excuse now, nah, son. You're not gonna use this excuse because they got in before you. Because all you got to do is make a decision and work harder than them to collapse time frame and, and double up and 10x and work harder and work on your law of attraction, speak affirmations every day, wake up a little earlier than they wake up. You get to a certain income, you get a little tired, they're a little tired. But get out to where the new story at. That's what I'm talking about. Making a decision that you're going to be the new story. But let me tell you, if you, let me tell you how you really know you bad. When you make the story, when you make the decision tonight, and you say, so I got two more months to, to get a bigger check so I can get a little, a little play, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all, I made a decision. When I think about every broke time of my life, you know what my problem was? I decided to be scared. I did make a decision. Because, see, we all make a decision. We make a decision to have faith, or we make a decision to have fear. It's simple. Hello? I used to decide to be scared. Why, if it takes the same amount of money, watch this. Being scared makes you stop and makes you broke. Right? So if I go and have faith and it makes me go and makes me work, which one do you think I'm going to choose? But here's the deal. It's hard, y'all. It's real hard. It's so mental. Because 99% of you is sabotaging you. Hey, TLC, y'all, our product's bad to the bone. You hear me? Listen. Listen. Some, listen, I don't know where Jack get this, these products from. I don't know what type of connection this man got. I don't know what, who formulated that. Listen, we don't even know who. I don't know. I don't even care. All I know is they work. All I know is I got a sense of peace about me because I, I've been in companies where the products stopped working. You'd be like, what happened? Man, it worked. Here's the funny thing, the tea. I've heard stories, oh, the tea doesn't work no more because your system has maybe got a little used to some of the herbs. Stop being cheap. I'm gonna be honest with you, I make I make a half a gallon with two packs of tea. If I don't make if I wanna make a four gallon, I use four packs of tea. No problem. Because I, obviously, y'all, you could take a it could be a real narcotic, your body get immune to it. You get immune to drugs. You get immune to anything. You do too much of it, it don't even work no more. That's life. That's it. Some of y'all won't even work no more because you just got so used to working, you'd rather sell and just don't do nothing. Hey, it is what it is. But so you, you if you could add more packs of tea, do it. I, I'm, I'm just so, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I understand the simplicity of what this thing, this thing takes. I understand the mental shift that I, today, y'all, I told my assistant, I told my assistant, I can't wait till my sister come home. I told my dad, I told my dad, I told my assistant, I told my daughter, I told her, I said, y'all, I'm back crazy. I mean, y'all know right now, y'all already know I'm crazy. It's no secret. I, I like that y'all think I'm crazy. Wonderful. 
but Crazy Storm is back. Crazy Storm is back. It's time for us to get to $100,000 a week. Crazy Stormy is back. So stay out of my way. Don't ask me for a whole bunch of questions in my mind. I don't have no money. Don't come ask me every five minutes, you know, uh, uh, for some money. Because, no, I'm working. I'm working. I'm focused. And now, because I already have a story to tell, I I, I, I ain't got to prove it big. I can show you all kind of proof. I can show you a picture. Let's start with that. I can, start, I can show you a before and after picture of what my products did. You still want to discuss what, what, I'm, what, what we're talking about. The question is, are you going to pay cash to charge? And which one you want? You're going to become a distributor or a customer. Y'all, we got to get some posture. I told my family, I said six figures a week. Six figures a week. I'm back to affirmation around the house. Mental. Mental. I'm back to calling people in my phone. Doing my own private launch calls for people. I'm back. I'm back on it. You know why? With the same energy I took to get halfway to where I'm at right now, my goal is a hundred thousand a week. Guess what? The same energy I'm putting there to get to where I'm trying to get to, where I will get to a hundred thousand a week. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ten X my work. I'm gonna work harder. I'm gonna do conference calls. I'm gonna do more talking to people. I'm saying hi more. I'm saying how you doing more. I'm making more friends. I'm going to more events. No, I'm not posting more Instagram and Facebook. No, that's uh, after a while, that don't work. I'm engaging more. I'm reconnecting with old people. Hey, what's going on? How you doing today, girl? Checking in with you. What's going on? Oh, just getting prepared for 2016. You know, my goal is to help some more people make some more money. Just starting to, starting to drip. Starting to get that drip put together. Because I know it's a time of year where people get tired of lying. All my friends are and they're marketing a company. I'm about to hit you because you know you ain't making no money. I'm about to start by putting my little, my little text blast together while I'm seeing little, little cute stuff every now and then. Me eating, me eating a lobster right now going to motivate some of y'all because y'all can't even eat a lobster right now. Why? Because you don't want to put in no work. You don't want to get no retail customers. Why? Well, listen, the bill's $3,000 a month. Go make it $100 a day. It's just, it's just real simple. It's not, it, it's no fault your team. They ain't working. They, they ain't working because you ain't working. That's it. That's it. Don't event some of y'all already talking broke. Watch this. Some of y'all already talking that y'all don't have the money for the convention January 29th or 30th. Who talking broke in 2016 and you ain't even in yet? Who gonna say they broke down and you and, and ain't even closed out yet in the event in January? And then you got uplines that put together a payment plan, you know, a website that you can buy your ticket. Guys, you want to be at that event. And it ain't, it's not about just the camaraderie, which is important. Oh, no, it's not about the camaraderie. It's about the conscious impact that you are going to have. No, it's not about Vivica Fox and, 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 and what's the other guy named Carl Payne and the, 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 the gamer that everybody will be dressed up with their mask on and I'm going to kill y'all with my outfit. No, it's not that. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that, you know, John C. Maxwell is going to be there and, and I know Twal and Kenny and everybody going to be dressed up and all these leaders going to be dressed up. It's not that. It's about the conscious impact. It's about that story. That's gonna make you say, I'm tired. I'm tired of sitting in the background. Now, I remember when I got into TLC, guys, listen. You know, I remember I worked with Twyla and Irwin and Greg and Nika and Kenny and Shantae, so I was like the underdog. And I remember saying, uh uh-uh, uh, baby, y'all gonna know who I am. See who I was? Take it backwards, mean you saw it. So if I already saw it, that means I could be it. I am it. So let me show y'all what I'm made of. You know, I, I, I can't stand these leaders come over here and, and they, you know, I'm a leader of this. If you're a leader, cook it. Let me see. You ain't gonna talk about it. A leader, a leader gonna show through their results. But you know what I love about what we have over here at TLC? Y'all, you don't even have to be a leader. You don't even have to be a leader to get a thousand, two thousand a week. You just gotta be a, a believer. Guys, I'm thankful for my yes. I can, when I think about Pam and, and Nate McCray, do y'all know, do y'all know, do y'all know that a year ago, they were sleeping on my floor, on a blow-up mattress at my house. They would go in my garage. They made my garage a living room, the hot garage in Florida. So you talking about six-figure income, multiple six-figure income under Mr. Nate McCray. You talking about a family that I've been knowing for seven years and never seen them really broke. Like, no, never. They always kept a good job. But this is why we have to understand God again mentally. Believe for the best, but always expect the worship. Always gotta have an exit strategy. 
believe for the best, but always expect the worst. I think he knew he wasn't going to get a contracting job and end up on my floor with his three children and his wife. When I first brought TLC to town, she was like, no, I am not doing another network marketing company stormy. And this is someone that will follow me to the moon, so you know I broke my heart. You know what I did, y'all? No problem. I ain't gonna stop because you don't see the vision now. You already see it on my floor anyway. We better figure this out. Somebody gotta figure this out. Somebody gotta have a, a level head and have some courage and some belief. You know what I did? I started to drink the tea. And when even drink the tea, she threw it in her purse, balled it up, wouldn't touch it. Because all she could think about was, I ain't signing up and nothing you doing. Mental. Drink the tea, y'all. Guess what? I lost 10 pounds. 10 days. My sister, 21 pounds, two and a half weeks. Another girlfriend of mine, 17 pounds in two and a half weeks, went on to lose 31 pounds, consistently drinking her tea twice a day, consistently drinking her tea twice a day. Finally, Pam pulls the tea out of her purse, drinks it. First week, lost about 12 pounds. Ended up getting some more tea, finally, because by then, we all joined. Now, listen, 25 pounds in less than a month. Now, the top burner in my organization as a national Never had success before in network marketing. Never had success. Listen, y'all, this girl couldn't even hit the first leadership level in our last company. You know what she'll tell you? She made up her mind. She was tired, y'all. Come on. You on my floor? When people come to my house, you would want in my hot garage because you was embarrassed for people to see you. So y'all turn my garage into a living room. It was hot, y'all. She made up her mind. I made up my mind. Y'all, do y'all know a week before I joined TLC? Pam, I tell you, I was behind my computer fight, trying to find something. Somebody walked in my office and saw my face and said something I write when I called the ambulance. I went to the emergency room. I'm 35 years old. You know what was happening? Something was happening. They said my blood pressure was low. They think that they, they, it was stress. But when I saw the opportunity, I seized the opportunity. Now, I didn't forget who I was. I know who I am. This, I walk around my own house and beat my own chest. as my family. I say, I am the boss. This is when I was broke, though. See, y'all think that I'm saying I'm the boss because I'm walking around my pool that I own this time in my 5,000 square foot home, and I got a Range Rover and a Porsche and a Rolls Royce outside. So y'all think that's why I say I'm the boss. No, I've been saying I was a boss because nobody else ain't believe me. I had to believe me. I'm telling y'all, we gotta shift. I think and stop calling yourself self out. Man I was tired. He was tired. Y'all, we to jump on a baby. Listen, we to jump on this little trampoline, speaking our affirmation. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm humble. I'm wealthy. I'm strong. Six figures a month plus. On November 25th, 2016, six figures a month, six figures a month. We were just speaking. We didn't have nothing on a little baby trampoline. Why? Because we went to a Tony Robbins event with our broke stuff, sharing food. They had no money to park in my car that the repo people was looking for. And guess what? He said, if you jump up and down and speak affirmation, something happens and you get excited. And all I knew was I was sad and broke and not excited. And I needed it. Y'all know we jump on this baby trampoline, y'all. With an affirmation, I will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit within. I will lead and I follow. I will create and not destroy. I am a force for good. Out of the I, I set new standards. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. I am protected by God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every time that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. I am a champion. You know why I made that up? I like to hear all kind of negative voices in my own head telling me, girl, give it up. It's over. Just go back to your food stamps and get, I've been on all that. Go back to your food stamps and go find some section aid and go find your job. You had your run. It's over for you. I had to speak life into myself and change the way I was thinking. Now, oh, we fight over the bill. Pam look good. Nate look good. You know, we, we, I'm talking about we fight over little stupid stuff. We be at Target fighting over who gonna pay for the stuff at Target. Now we go to eat and we, we, we fight over who gonna pay for the food. It's your turn, it's my turn, it don't matter. Now we go to the mall and I, 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 I got it. Why? 
we should start thinking why we were around each other, why we went to a Tony Robbins event and heard him say, jump, jump up and down. He did it. That's the events. Courage. Talk to my friend today. He says, I realize what's going on. People don't need CPR. They need CBR. I said, bro, what's CBR? I'm, from, I'm a little ghetto, y'all. So I said, bro, what's CBR? He said, courage, relief, and relationships. He's like, man, I'm tired of struggling. I'm ready to come on board. I'm ready to run with you, sis. It's time now. I watched y'all make this money too long. He said, you know why I'm so excited? He said, I got the courage. I got the belief. And the relationship is you. All I need is you. I got this now. We about to make a we about to make a million dollar run. When y'all next convention? This reason when y'all next convention? November twenty ninth. Oh, he said I'm walking across the stage as a hundred thousand dollar honor. I said, How do you got a million make a hundred thousand in like two months? He said, I'm walking across the stage as a hundred thousand dollar earner. Come January at y'all convention. Come on, y'all. We got this. We got this. Don't count yourself out. Get tired. Get real tired. I'm, listen. I tell people I'm so happy I was broke. Because if I had a little bit, see, some of y'all got a little bit. What's a little bit I can pay my bills? I, I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not broke. I, I, I ain't broke like you was. Well, okay. That's some of the problem. If I would have had enough to just pay my bills, I promise you I would have went as, 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 as hard and been as relentless and, and, and resilient and, and psychotic and crazy. I wouldn't have. Because I would have had enough. I didn't have it. I had a choice. The option didn't feel good. The option didn't sit well with me. It wasn't no bridge to go backwards on. I had nothing. Now, man, I got this. I got the whole in my mind. I got the whole world in my hand. And because of the people around me, honor. Oh, listen. I, 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 the law of honor will always kick in for me. Can you and Lloyd? We have disagreements. Of course we do. I'm not a yes ma'am type of woman. I'm a woman. I have opinions too. But at the end of the day, the law of honor, I understand when you dishonor. I can't dishonor that, that man. I can't dishonor that young lady. Oh, when I try to point, do I always agree? No. No. But I understand the law of honor. Greg, let me do I agree? No. Listen, y'all, it's so much mental stuff. And if you get yourself in check, stop counting yourself out. Understand the law of honor, understand the law of touching and agreeing, understanding the law of, of, of sowing and reaping, understanding the law of how you gotta think deep. I'm, listen, I love everybody. When I say, I, listen, the people y'all heard that don't like me, I love everybody. Listen, you can't get me that I like somebody. Why? That's how you be broke. I like everybody and would do anything for everybody. When I leave, I may, I may be cursed to do it, but I'm gonna do it. I may be saying, oh, I just can't, mm, I just can't, oh, oh, she just don't look. Yes, ma'am, absolutely, girl. You want me to do it through it? Absolutely. Why? It's principles that you, y'all already know how to go and, and enroll somebody and put them on an opportunity call. And you know you're supposed to expose the people. Y'all know y'all supposed to be on ownership 40, 80, or 100. That's another thing. Y'all, I was on $120 ownership before I had $120, $120. And I'm not telling y'all to do this, but I do $120 every week. Why? Because I'm selling my products. I'm selling my products. I'm not going to sit on the phone. You must spend an ownership for $40 and 80 and 120 And, you know, you get binary qualified. You put one. I'm not doing that. That's not the problem. Y'all already know how to do that. You already know you get paid a percentage of the volume on the lesser leg every week. You already know how to go direct your executive regional. You already know to do three-way calls. You already know to do lifelines. You already know to edify your upline. I hope you already got your momentum magazines. I hope you don't went to the payment arrangement website and got your tickets or you went and bought the ticket. I hope you're not going to be the person that's going to wait till January and then start crying, wait for the company to give away free tickets because all you want to do is get stuff for free because you got this gimme, gimme, you owe me. I ain't going there tonight, y'all. I'm just saying, y'all, don't count yourself out. Shift the way you think. We are such in a good place. You know, we are such in a good place from Jack Fallon, his humility, I mean, his ability to put things together for us, his ability to just put us first as distributors, you know, I mean, we are just in a very, very good place, y'all, and all I wanted to do in this quarter, I, I know you ain't expect all this, I know you, I don't know what you expected, but I'm so glad I, I, I can't get fired, because I probably would have got fired tonight, but listen, it's the night, y'all, it's the night, it's, it's, it's like literally, it's the night hour. 
It's time. 2016 for me started 30 days ago. But I'm giving you on the past. Let 2016 start for you tonight. And like another thing, be careful with who you surround yourself by. It be hard sometimes to eliminate certain people because it just feels good to you. But I'm telling y'all, take just for a little season. Just for a little season. Just separate yourself a little bit. Count yourself into everything. Every event that, listen, that's that Rick the thing Paula doing? Man, listen, I don't care what they say, I'll be right there. I'm going, I'm going to get close. I'm there. What? The event come January, oh, how much it come? How much, I went to tell them, I got my ticket. They won't even know I'm on the payment plan. I ain't going to, because you can't let everybody know when, when you when you in the valley, when you in the valley. You can't wait. You got to tell them when you get out of the valley. So I ain't going to tell you I made a payment arrangement. I got my ticket, though. Yeah. Get up early in the morning, go to the gym real quick, get on your products. I'll go in your back office tonight. Excuse me, if you need to lose weight, cut it out. Stop, 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 stop thinking that it's okay that you stay big. No. It ain't, it's not, it's not, it's not. Create the results. Let people want to be attached to you. Let me tell y'all why some of y'all can't win. People don't believe that you can take them somewhere they never been. I need to believe, can you take me somewhere I never been? Now I ain't talking about no club. I don't even like, listen y'all, my house is a little club. I got a nice back patio. Y'all, listen, I got a 12 foot Christmas tree. I went with my, my decorated by everything. I couldn't just pay for it. I said, take the car, don't even let me see. I knew it, oh God, y'all. I don't want to see this bit the bill. But I'm happy. I love it. My energy is 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 high just by looking at my house. And, and because of for real, this, this may be funny to y'all, but I got like a I got a, a map of Paris in my living room. And and in my mind, my my business is in Paris. Now I ain't talking about right now because we ain't open yet. You know, we ain't, everything ain't done yet. But in my mind, that's how far away down the road I'm thinking. Why my Christmas tree up? Because they need to hurry up and be Christmas so I can get to convention, hear this story, hear, hear what I'm going to hear so I can go ahead and knock out this $100,000 a week. Why? Because too many people make $100,000 a week. They ain't no better than me. Y'all ain't no better than me. I'm sorry. I'm about to show everybody that you can get $100,000 a week in like, um, you know, 16 months. I'm sorry it took y'all a little bit longer, but I'm, I'm the one that's going to set new standards. I've been speaking that for almost three years. I want y'all get it together. Man, I wish, I, 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 here's another joke. So my old Instagram page got hacked. I had 45,000 followers. I said, God, you got a sense of humor. 45,000 followers. I'm talking about from scratch. Got 45,000 followers. You couldn't tell me nothing. I post one picture and get a billion likes in like a second. Man, y'all, somebody hacked my Instagram page, right? I got a new Instagram page. I had to start all over. I had to laugh to myself because so many, I'm talking about, I got people, you want me to get your page back? I can email Instagram. I'm like, listen, ma'am, take it easy. Relax. I'm used to starting over. God wants me to know that you're supposed to start over because you're supposed to be the example of bounce back resilience. But we fall down on our back, but we get back up. So guess what? I'm at 10,000 followers right now. No problem. You know why? I laughed. I said, you going to show me everything I do that I could bounce back to everything? I, I mean, I thought I proved to you that I believe. Belief, y'all. It is so time. Go get y'all tickets for convention. And let me tell you how you, let me tell you when you get real gangster with it. When you take a bill of money, you take something from some bill and you say, I ain't missing convention. Cool. I, I'm sorry. I understand the celebrity's going to be there and all that. I don't even know where I'm going to stay at right now. I'm not speaking like that no more. Because I made a decision that it's my season, it's my turn. I am a champion. So I'm going to convention. I figure out, do y'all know? Ooh, do y'all know every top owner that I know? They all have this crazy poverty story of, man, it's a guy that's for the company, y'all. Made like four million in a year. Two years prior, went to a convention, didn't even know where he was staying, out in another country. That's bold. I, I, I think I may pull it off in the United States. I don't know if I'm flying to a whole other country without a place to stay. That's crazy. With no food, nowhere to stay. But guess what? How many guys would have, if, if I could fast forward and tell you what the end going to look like, would have made that sacrifice. That's the problem. We have something called the fear of the unknown. And because we don't know, that fear cripples us. Think about it, guys. We watch the cartoons, not cartoons. We watch the scary movies, the Freddy Krueger movies, or even in real life. If you hear something coming, you, you scared. 
What's the first thing you do for self-preservation to protect yourself? Don't you stop. Think about it. When I got that revelation the other day, I'm like, for me. Here you go. When you get scared, you stop. Fear makes you stop. I ain't stopping. I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't. Let me tell you what I'm scared of, being broke. I, that's, that's what scared me. You can tell me, no, y'all, I'm back calling everybody on my phone. I'm back texting out pictures of before and after. I'm back saying, you ain't tired yet. I got my drip list popping. I don't care if you told me no. Because you're going to get to the point where you're going to stop lying. You broke. And you about to go into a new year in that broke vehicle? Man, I'm about to turn it over to and I'm going to say this thing and I'm done. I was watching Bishop Jake. Bishop Jake said, we all are seed. Everything is like a seed. But the problem is, your seed is on, 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 on unfertile ground. Listen, y'all, I, I can't speak about no other company. next company, my Jamaican just came out. I can't speak about another company. Oh, but I can tell you, this soil over here, and total life changes. Baby, listen, I ain't never seen no soil so fertile, baby. It's ripe, it's fertile, it, it produces own water and nutrients. This ground over here is so fertile. Y'all get planted. Plant your seed. Stop counting yourself out. Get yourself together. Be the example. Be the inspiration. Look like the products that we sell. Get your ticket for the, 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 the TLC Awards show. Stop playing games. And Ms. Paul, I'm going to turn the call back over to you. Thank you so much for allowing me to share. Wow, 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 wow. I can tell you right now, my phone is just blowing up, you know, text after text after text after text of people saying, I got it. Text after text after text of people saying, tear. You know, I mean, you obviously just laid it out, and there's nothing else to say, you know, guys, other than, you know, let's do it. You know, let's rock this thing out. Um, Ms. Wellington, thank you so much for coming on here. I mean, and just really sharing your heart you know, uh, with the team tonight. And um, I can tell you that, uh, you know, you being here, you know, in the CLC family truly, you know, is a blessing. You know, um, the stories that we've heard uh, on tonight is just a blessing. I mean, you laid it out. And so, guys, the only thing now is that you just got to go do it. You know, take what you've been taught, you know, the principles, and let's go make it happen. So with that being said, guys, have a great rest of the night. Uh, God bless you, and we will see you next week. Goodbye, everybody.